Hi, welcome all of you on your PD education platform. And uh, today uh, I'm going to discuss with you about IIIT Bangalore. Uh, the forms are now there. I mean, the dates are there. 21st March onward. 21st March onward, you can start applying for IIIT Bangalore. And uh, there are three courses: M Tech course, which is on the basis of Gates Core, then MS course, M Tech Research, which is with Go Gate without Gate. Other than Gate, you can also write apply that with GRE score that is also there. And then PhD for which M Tech is required. So direct PhD is not there. You need to have M Tech to get into PhD. So there are three courses: M Tech course, Gate score ke base pe hai, M Tech Research without Gate and Gate dono, and uh, GRE will also work. And PhD ke liye you need to have M Tech for you. <clears throat> Now there's a without Gate there's a written exam. So you need to uh, go for written exam also uh, if you want to go for that particular thing. So uh, let me let me share with you on the screen now uh, about this. So admission in IIIT Bangalore. So first you go through IIIT Bangalore. What are the opportunities here? So you can understand what are the various opportunities. Why to join IIIT Bangalore? So these are the courses: Master of Science by Research or PhD. So MS or PhD. This is what is there without uh, gate. Also, you can get into this. M Tech Computer Science and then M Tech in uh, Electronics and uh, MS in you know Digital Society and Integrated M Tech means after twelfth class. So that is uh, what is required. So let me first go for M Tech courses. Let me tell you about M Tech courses. Uh, this is for Computer Science and Engineering, two years program and. Uh, There is 150 intake. Gate score is the criteria for that, and uh, you know this is the credit they are talking about. And how to apply is 21st March onward. You can apply. Thousand rupees is the fee structure for that. 65% uh, uh, is required in your B Tech to get admission in uh, you know uh, computer science, computer engineering, information system, information technology, com electronics, communication, and engineering. so this is what is about mtech course uh, so it is purely on the basis of your gate score similarly i think mtech when you see electronics and communication you get a similar thing uh, about electronics and communication also so they are also talking about the same uh, you know uh, your credit system and uh, this is what is required for admission uh, for this mtech in electronics and communication engineering is uh, basically this and uh, you can read through this uh, and you can get the detailed information about that intake is 30 gate score is required 31st march and again 1000 rupees for that now very interesting and very important for all of us is phd and ms so let me tell you for phd and ms you have to go through this entire thing what is there uh, first i go for eligibility criteria so uh, you know for phd you need to have masters degree and good academic background you know so again they are not asking for gate so mtech with good academic background is required and uh, that is the requirement and uh, these are the research domains in which you can apply so these are the research areas and they have uh, Uh, also mentioned uh, they have they should have gate and gre score that is what they are asking for is this uh, i think that is for uh, masters program is for this additional specific requirements also they mentioned so i think uh, gate and gre uh, in last 5 years you must have written and if you don't have this with suitable academic experience you can also apply uh, without even gate and gre uh gate and gre is not required if you have good academic background but you know you are to write the competitive exam so there is a competitive exam which syllabus also they have mentioned again for data science uh, one of the following gate exam computer science you should have and uh, same uh, if gate is not there one of the following examination gate examination in computer science if you have or Uh, uh, one of the following that means either this or this 45 minutes written exam is to be there and uh, for phd you should have msc so i think this is common for you know uh, your uh, ms and phd for phd you need to have masters and for ms you need to have your gate or you need to write the your exam vlsi also gate score are not mandatory but will be desirable 
so uh, without gate students have equally good opportunity in this they can go without gate also and uh, you need to uh, basically there, there is a written exam and there is an interview for that you need to prepare syllabus also they have provided and this again network and communication and requirement also they have mentioned what is the requirement for that so as you can see there is a written online exam is there and then for physics for maths yes for physics also uh, there is a minimum qualification required in this physics and then there's a, a short listing will be done on the basis of all these written exams and all and it and society you know this is also one of the ms course uh, if you have masters in any of the social science domain you can apply for this that is the good point so i want that for ms you read this in detail understand this in detail and even syllabus is mentioned for you know data science networking it and society so what is the kind of syllabus that also for vlsi and embedded system you should go for this so there are some instructions uh, for written exam which they will upgrade, upgrade soon so uh, you know for the details will come 21st march onward you will start uh, filling the forms that is what they have given and uh, yes uh, eligibility criteria I discussed with you so masters of science research you will get 20000 and phd you are getting 38500 till completion and uh, per month for maximum period of 3 years uh, till completion of comprehensive exam and then thereafter you will get uh, 43500 per month for a maximum period of this uh, and after a completion of comprehensive exam so before comprehensive exam this is the so that means the, the kind of scholarship you are getting in uh, uh, you know uh, ms uh, that is more than what you are getting in iits that is 12400 it is 20000 and you know 38000 43000 so phd ms you are getting more scholarship in this so that is something which you have to do uh, that is what is there so i think you can go through this uh, for ms and phd so uh, that is a good thing i mean mtech and ms forms are out and there is an opportunity for all the students who do not have gate score see uh, they have preferred gate score so those who write gate written exam also and they have gate score they, they may get preference but those of you who do not have gate score but their written exam is good certainly they can get admission in this so um, you know uh, team yourpedia will come out with some kind of learning modules for all of you those who want to go for it so triple it bangalore is a really prestigious institute 21st march let's look forward to apply in triple it bangalore we'll come out with some more details related to this thank you